Music City, live from high atop majestic Mount Eagle Mountain, Music City Roots is on the air. Welcome everybody here to the Mount Eagle Assembly with us and out there listening or watching us live. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Came through the rain, came through the storm, you're here and we appreciate it. Tonight we find ourselves in a barn on a mountain ready to truly explore our roots from washboard rhythm to some new grass dancing, and nobody's more qualified to be musical host for this evening than a man who helped shape that very sound. You did? I didn't know that. Grammy. That's okay. I'll be you now, Keith. Uh, hi, everybody. That's Keith Miller. No, I really want to say this. Would you welcome Grammy Award-winning songwriter and singer, Americana's sweetheart, Jim Lauderdale. Thank you. Boy, what a great crowd. Thank you so much. I've had my share of darkness and I'm headed for the light. A melody inside me says it's gonna be alright. I'm laying down my burden and I'm breaking off the chains. Come along and join me if you feel like singing a day. I feel like singing a day. I feel like singing a day. Lifting up my voice and praise and feel like singing a day. I feel like singing a day. I feel like singing a day. Lifting up my voice, say I feel like singing a day. I wanna tell a message and I wanna tell it now. I'm busting out with good news and I've gotta let it out. The chorus does remind me of some friends along the way. Come along and join me if you feel like singing a day. I feel like singing a day. I feel like singing a day. Lifting up my voice to say I feel like singing a day. Oh, I feel like singing a day. I feel like singing a day. Lifting up my voice and praise I feel like singing a day. Lifting up my voice and praise and feel like singing a day. I like it. Well, thanks so much, everybody. And welcome to Music City Roots, live from Mont Eagle. We're going to hear from some true mama's cooking music tonight, folks. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm excited to be here and excited to have all of y'all with us. And uh, to get things moving along, Please welcome the guys who help make this show happen. First, you've heard them already, our terrific radio host, a 35-year veteran of the Grand Ole Opry and recently inducted into the Tennessee Broadcasters Hall of Fame, Mr. Keith Bilbrey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lauderdale. Thank you. Thank you. You know, you were just like, you were almost late getting here, you know? I mean, you got here and everything, but they had already asked me if I could tattle, do an opening number, and I, I, tale, I was tattle, getting a guitar tale, tale, tale. Uh, I wish you'd been a little longer. No, it, you know what, Keith? I ran into a little weather. I'm, I'm sorry. Just a uh, little, yeah. A little weather coming yeah. from Nashville. I, I apologize no, to you. No, that's okay. You were that fine. I, but, hey, were at fine. least, folks, it, he's getting his digs in early. He's... Uh, <laughs> Likes to find fun. some way. Hey, but we, we're starting off right lost? at the top of the show. That's good, Keith. You got lost. Very David. good. You got Let's lost. Let's hear it for him again. You Keith Bilbrey. <laughs> Keith Bilbrey. <laughs> you got lost. And <laughs> over here in the chat room is our blogger and interview connoisseur, Mr. Craig Havighurst. There he is. Hey, Jim. Hey, everybody. My microphone does work. Good to see y'all. What a great space. We feel very lucky to be here. Uh, we, uh, we're honored, really, it's, we're, to be part of a Chautauqua. I was explaining to uh, Jim what a Chautauqua was, and he's like, it's that little Mexican dog, right? I'm like, no, it's a Chautauqua. And he's like, oh, a chimichanga. I love those. No, it's a Chautauqua. Chautauqua. 
So we're all here. It's a, it's a great tradition, a great American tradition of gathering, learning, sharing, and uh, we're glad that yours includes music, and we're so happy to bring you some. And uh, well, here we are on the mountain, and we are going out next week. This show is going to be aired on Hippie Radio, so let's say thanks and hate all the hippies on Hippie Radio 94.5 FM. Hello, hippies. Give them a round of applause. Yeah. One week or a few days delay, but uh, it'll be worth it. And uh, we have to picture this place on the radio, a little theater of the mind, to help us out with that. Folks who are uh, known to you all, I'm sure, uh, leaders here in the community at uh, Mont Eagle uh, Sunday School Assembly, uh, Kent Ballou here and Scott Parrish. Please make them welcome. You are known to them, very popular. Can you all take uh, each take a shot at describing for the radio audience where we are, what this place looks like. Wow, it's just like when you walk through the gates, you're stepping back in time into this 135-year-old um, community where we gather every summer, intergenerationally. We have everybody from newborn babies to 99-year-olds, and we care deeply about this place and about each other. And this room looks like it was built by a... a guitar builder. It's what? this arched ceiling, very large uh, and ancient looking barn, but it's, so we, we, we were born in a barn. Our show <laughs> yeah. was, was literally launched in a barn. We feel very at home here, but... Uh, it's like being inside a guitar, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, the, this um, auditorium was built in 1927. Uh, very few changes uh, to the space, but um, it's a great room and we gather here just about every night for family movies uh, with the dogs and the bats and everything <laughs> else. So it's a great place. And just what is y'all's favorite part about the tradition here of the annual gatherings at Mod Eagle? Oh gosh, I've been here every summer for 56 years and I guess the 4th of July is, is the biggest and most um, heartwarming event because we have hundreds of people here. How many people come on the 4th of July? have about 1,500. 1,500 people, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, it's just so much fun, and it's a huge tradition, and we gather on the mall and have a picnic lunch, and then we have fireworks and have a, a Vesper service in the evening, and it's, it's not to be missed. It's, it's a lot of fun. Well, you know, I just think that um, true to our roots of the Chautauqua movement, where we, we still educate adults in, in cultural and religious uh, and, and uh, arts and, and uh, recreation. And we've got a children's program ages three through 18, which is just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And I think my favorite thing is to watch the children and the dogs. And this is the best place in the world if you are a child, a dog, or love those. <laughs> and we're open air here, the shutters are open, and we got a little uh, light rain outside, and it is a, just a lovely, lovely evening. So thank you, uh, Ken and Scott, for making this possible and for welcoming us here. Thank you so much for being All right. here. Thank you. We have uh, four extraordinary acoustic artists tonight, not only from Nashville, but even from around the world. Uh, we're going to be hearing, in, uh, as we start, with from a uh, fine young woman from uh, Nashville, banjo player, picker, bass player, band leader, songwriter, Ashley Caudill. Please give her a hand. We're going to not hold our applause. From, from many points and nowhere comes uh, our favorite uh, rail riding vagabond, Woody Pines, coming yeah. up later on. A duo that I'm just getting to know and very excited to hear tonight uh, from uh, Down Under and living in Nashville now, the Tattletail Saints are here. Yes. And wrapping up the night, an extraordinary musician from uh, Kentucky, the uh, finest cello-playing singer-songwriter you will ever meet, Ben Salee, is here yeah. tonight. Go good, he's got some fans. And let's get things started. Jim will introduce our first artist. All right. Well, our, our first artist found her schooling and her tribe in the fascinating, innovative Boston acoustic music scene. Since moving to Nashville, she's established herself as a songwriter, side musician, and most important, band leader. We're pleased to welcome to the stage, Ashley Cottle. Yeah. Everyone is cup 
pulling up and settling down. But love to me is tires on the ground. And that howling sound they make as they go flying down the interstate. Everyone is coupling up settling down but give me a sky full of stars and a mountain of shimmering leaves I'll take all that and a long late night drive I'll have all this and more living on the countryside I've always liked the sparkling light from the outskirts of town. The horizon burns as the moon is sinking down. And the sun she gently wakes, shaking darkness from her face. I've always liked the sparkling light from the outskirts of town So give me a sky full of stars And a mountain of shimmering leaves I'll take all that and a long late night drive I'll have all this and more Living on the countryside could make me want to stay Unpack my bags and put my clothes away In some towering chest of drawers Where they'll sit forevermore I've never found the one Who could make me want to stay stars and a mountain of shimmering leaves I'll take all that and a long late night drive I'll have all this and more living on the countryside Well, sometimes the sheriff comes knocking Or you have to go walking for fuel But sometimes the sky looks just like Van Gogh's starry night So give me a sky full of stars And a mountain shimmering leaves I'll take all that and a long late night drive I'll have all this and more living on the countryside Well, thank you guys. I'm so glad to be here. It's a fantastic place. You guys already know that, though. 
So that was a song that's going to be on my upcoming album, which is called Looney Bird. I don't have it yet, but that song is going to be the first song on the record. So I'm excited that you guys got to hear it today. And um, I'll do another one off the upcoming record. It's about um, a little bit about history, you know, in uh, Franklin County, Virginia. It's a made up story. But it could have happened. Down in Franklin County, about nineteen twenty three, smoke hangs on the hillside. Through the trees, the stills they are bubbling from dusk until the dawn. If you go looking in the morning, you'll find them gone, boys. You'll find them They say a man came down from Boston in a fancy shirt and coat Demanding his fair portion of the sweat of the mountain folks And when he tore into Virginia like a beast without no rest He aimed to rape the only commerce of the county they had left They say those boys from Franklin County sure know how to bootleg turn when a revenue man comes tailing down that winding mountain road. No one saw or heard that rich man for about three days or more. No one saw or heard that rich man. He set out to hunt them down, boys. Since he set out to hunt them. Then on one foggy mountain morning in the town of Rocky Mount, that revenue man dangled from the tails of his own coat. While well, he was soaked in bootleg whiskey, had his throat slit open wide, a sign nailed to his charred torso was the curse of the mountainside, boys, was carved a curse of the mountainside. The shiners from their stills And may your cup be overflowing With the devil's homemade fire We'll go burning down inside you Like a thousand scorching eyes Like a thousand scorching Local legend has it you can hear him on the wind when the summer's moon is waning and the stars are burning low. His cries they tumble through the treetops and spill down the mountainside as he curses Franklin County from the flaming lips of hell. Down in Franklin County, about 1923, smoke hangs on the hillside.
And the fire glows through the trees, boys. And the fire glows through the trees. I'll do one that's a little lighter now. <laughs> This one's about dreams. Um, you know, the kind you have when you're sleeping, um, not daydreams. <laughs> and it's great to have dreams because you wake up and they don't make any sense and it's just, it's sort of magical. And that's kind of what this one's about. This thunderstorm's pretty magical too. <laughs> You guys like to camp ever? Yeah? Awesome. I like to camp too. I also like to sleep in my van a lot. And, um, and I wrote this song kind of about adventuring and going around doing what you want and um, sometimes sleeping in your van. But I come by it honestly. My parents sold their house and they moved into a bus and I was like, Oh, that makes way more sense now. That's why I like to sleep in vehicles so much. I inherited that trait. So um, this one is, uh, it's about that. I wanna live in a train yard, feel the rails rattle all night long, hear the whistle like a low moan, as they're pulling to another town And I want to build me a slow boat Float the river till the water runs out When 
it spills into the ocean Cast my troubles out on the sea Feet are tired and my money's all spent I'll be thinking about you, baby I'll be wondering just where the love went Well, I'm feeling just like an old pine Bending low under six feet of snow I kind of wish I was an oak tree So I could carry all life could throw Cause I've had enough of this fast life Sweat and slave just to pay the rent Want to keep my money in a coffee can And sleep out in some old van but When I'm running out of whiskey Feet are tired and my money's all spent I'll be thinking about you, baby I'll be wondering just where the love went So I'm gonna find me a pork pie hat with a feather curling up and round back And a ribbon hanging from the brim The kind they used to wear in silent film And with my brim tilted way up high I'd have no trouble gazing at the sky Count my wishes on the sunbeam And turn loose the worn out dream I'll be thinking about you, baby I'll be wondering just where the love went supposed to be like barbed wire in an old oak tree that sprung up on the survey line forever intertwined but you're barbed wire and I'm that tree I had the heart ripped out of me now there's nothing left but a rusty scar and I'm wondering where you are Oh, 
I have one more for you. This must be the um, songs about states portion of my set here. That one's about leaving North Carolina, and this one is about being left in Tennessee. Do you guys want to hear a lousy joke? Good, because that's the only kind of joke I have. So there were these, um, these two muffins, and they were sitting in a microwave, and one muffin looks over and says to the other one, it's getting kind of hot in here, isn't it? And the other muffin jumps and says, oh my gosh, it's a talking muffin. I didn't say it was going to be good. I made no promises. <laughs> I don't know if the uh, banjo tuning makes the joke more tolerable or the joke makes the banjo tuning more tolerable. Well, thanks for listening. And uh, I'm Ashley Cottle. Visit me on online if you want. AshleyCottle.com. And uh, I'm so excited to hear everybody else play. I know you guys are too. What a fantastic night. <laughs>
Thank you, guys. <laughs> Ashley Cottle. Oh, man. Yeah. Ashley. That was fantastic. You guys are a great audience. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Brave the yeah. storms and the rain. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to turn things back over to the man who puts the brie into Keith Bilbrey. Mr. Keith Bilbrey. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, what if you never had to pay for gas again? If you drove your 100% electric, no gas Nissan Leaf, you could answer that question. The Nissan Leaf gets the equivalent of 126 miles per gallon. That's right. 126 miles per gallon. So far, 75,000 customers in the United States alone are saving a lot of money and time by not having to stop at gas stations anymore. And of course, fewer parts under the hood means less maintenance, so you'll save on more than just gas. With seating for five and a roomy interior, oh, you just can't beat it. You don't have to sacrifice space for efficiency with a Nissan LEAF. With all the comforts of a conventional car and the innovation Nissan is known for, LEAF makes going electric an everyday reality. Every new Nissan LEAF in the United States comes from the right here in Tennessee, the vehicle and battery plant located in Smyrna and Deckard, just a short drive from here. And currently, if you buy a new Nissan LEAF here in Nashville, Nissan's no charge to charge promotion provides you complimentary access to public charging stations for two full years. Talk about range confidence. So visit your local Nashville dealer today and test drive the 100% electric, no gas Nissan LEAF. And congratulations to Nissan on yesterday's announcement naming our Tennessee Titans football stadium Nissan Field. How about that, huh? And I want to remind you, you may have noticed on the way in, and you folks who live here, you're very familiar with the Edgeworth Inn. It's right here on the grounds of the assembly, and many of our crew and musicians are staying here. Beautiful bed and breakfast available for weekends and vacation stays. You can find out all the information at edgeworthinn.com. We thank them for their generous hospitality. Speaking of generous hospitality, I'll remind you, you're listening to Hippie Radio, Nashville, Bellevue, 94.5 on your FM dial. And uh, you're now looking for Nashville's coolest new unsigned band songwriter. Stay tuned to Hippie or check out their website to learn more about the Nashville handshake. Craig, what's going on over in the chat room? Well, we have a, a, diff, a, a makeshift chat room here, but uh, we'd love to let you guys uh, get to know the artists who are playing on the show, and as you know, uh, rounding out the night tonight will be the wonderful Kentuckian Ben Salee. Please make him welcome. Hi, y'all. So good to see you again. We enjoy your visits very much. It's good to I be think back. you're playing the, the our cave show here coming up. I'm this looking week. forward to being 300 feet underground again. You have rocked the cave before, and mm -hmm. um, later on, folks will see you play the cello. And among all the things you do, one of the things you do is a very rhythmic approach. Not afraid to uh, whack it, bang it, chop it. Where, where'd that come from? What are you trying to get at? And then a related question is, you travel with Jordan, a drummer. Yeah. So of all the side men, you could have a piano player, you could have a violinist, you could have all kinds of things with your cello. But you're drumming on the cello and you bring a drummer. What's the vision here? Um, well, when I picked up the cello in public schools when I was nine years old, I, um, I discovered that the, most of the music and techniques th that the cello was taught through was classical music. And of course, as a nine-year-old in Kentucky, it was really pretty music, but it didn't have much to do with me. So I would take my instrument home and play with uh, my family, which is a very musical family. My dad played guitar, my mom sang, lots of R&B music. My grandfather was a fiddler, and he would teach me old-time fiddle tunes. And, and then I'd take my cello back to school and study classical. So through that process, I, I learned to go, to hear a sound and go look for it on the cello. And the cello is kind of like the Swiss Army knife of the orchestra, man. You can just... You can get any sound you need to. You can make harmony, melody, rhythm. Um, and I think composers have used it like that for a long time. So whenever I, want to, whenever I hear a sound, whether it's an electronic you know, pop sound or whether it's an old time fiddle sound, I try to create that on the cello. And I find that it always has the sound in there somewhere. 
How did you pair up with uh, Jordan, your, your drummer and percussionist? We've seen you guys play off each other before. It's a very musical yes. conversation. Jordan Ellis uh, is a fellow Kentuckian, and we met an all-state jazz band. He was the really exciting young drummer coming out of Kentucky, and I was the cellist who had snuck in as the bass player in the blind audition. Okay. And, <laughs> and you could tell right away that I wasn't a real bass player, but we had, a, we had a good meeting there, and we stayed in touch after all those years, and we've been playing music together on the road for the last seven years. Wow, fantastic. Yeah. Um, you're always up to something uh, good traveling or collaborating. What stands out here recently? What, what have you been up to that is particularly fun and particularly been... Um, well, I'm doing a big, uh, wow, this is kind of tricky to describe, I haven't done it. It's a project called Livestream, and it's an interactive sound sculpture that will be um, installed in Lexington, Kentucky, which is my hometown, mm -hmm. and it is like a gigantic pian player piano mm -hmm. for groundwater data, which is to say we've installed these live monitoring stations throughout the state of Kentucky, and those will feed out data about the groundwater, which we can't see, it's hard to perceive. Right. They'll tell us of the pH and the conductivity and the flow rate. Send that data to a computer where I've um, written a whole score of sounds, mm -hmm. like, a, like a whole orchestra of different sound textures. And depending on where the data is, whether it's been storming like this or whether it's been dry, it'll coordinate with different sounds and generate sound out of these pipes that we've installed in the ground so that people can really get to know I the health that. of their groundwater yeah. and hopefully generate affection for it to help take more care of it. It's, it's hard to believe that there are giant rivers under the earth and uh, Kentucky more so than a lot of places. Well, we're going to go to a place tomorrow where giant rivers have formed amazing spaces underground and mm -hmm. we just wouldn't have the beautiful landscape that we have here without that structure. No, oh, you're always fascinating. You, uh, John told me that you recently lugged your, your gear up to the top of a mountain in Colorado. <laughs> yes. Yesterday morning I woke up right at the Alpine Line in the Sierra Mountains in Kings Canyon National Park with my cello cuddled up next to me in the tent so it wouldn't get frosted. <laughs> and I put it on my back having already hiked up to the highest point to see the John Muir Memorial Shelter and mm. perform there, and hiked back out of the mountains, and it was a really beautiful experience. I did it with a, a, a product company called Revisit, and they, um, their business model is to give a quarter back of every dollar that they earn to the national parks hmm. and try to give people the appreciation and awareness and affection for these beautiful spaces that have been protected. So we hiked up to rededicate the John Muir Memorial Shelter at about 12,000 feet on the John Muir Pass. And I hiked my cello up there on my back. Played, came back down, got out here to the east. Yeah, that was uh, yesterday morning, so it's, a busy been a, man. <clears throat> it's been some travel since then. Follow this guy's world on Facebook. It is always adventures. <laughs> uh, we are just, we've just scratched the surface here, but it's always great to touch on it. There's a new EP called Steeples Part 1. And uh, who knows how many parts there will be, but check that out. There's a great catalog of recordings, and uh, we are so glad to have you back. Thank you. Ben Salee, everybody. See you. He's the man. All right. Well, our next artist borrows from various eras of classic Americana and makes timeless music that the modern world needs to hear. It's laid back but urgent. He has a brand new self-titled album on Muddy Roots Recordings. Please welcome to the stage, Woody Pines. Oh, thanks, everybody. How's everybody doing? Ah, oh, good to hear, good to hear. I've noticed that if you listen to the words of songs at all, you may have noticed that there's an awful lot of um, ballads about, well, there's a lot of murder ballads. There's... There's songs about gambling, songs about broken hearts, backstabbing, frontstabbing, all that mean, nasty stuff. I'm going to take one second, flip the coin completely over, and do a song that's all about love. I 
Used to live in the country by the high lonesome hill Crow by day, by night, the whip of will I used to live in the country by the high lonesome hill Crow by day, by night, the whip of will Cause I'm satisfied, tickled too just to be with you Cause there's a little red hen To the little red rooster You don't to come around the chicken shack Like you used to Cause there's a little red hen To the little red rooster You don't to come around the chicken shack Like you used to so Why don't we see you around town no more Cause I'm satisfied Tickled too just to be with you You're my baby, you're the one Throw your arms around me like a circle round the sun Say that you're my baby, you're the one Throw your arms around me like a circle round the sun Cause I'm satisfied, tickled too Just to be with you and I'm going downtown with my hat caved in Coming back home, pockets full of tin I'm going downtown with my hat caved in Coming back home, pockets full of tin Oh, someday we'll make some my tail Cause I'm satisfied, tickled too Just to be with you True story, everybody. Yeah. Well, thanks. I'll do anything to be satisfied. I'll do anything for love. For love. Well, I'd walk through desert fire over glass and broken wire. I would do anything for love Well, I'd jump from a bird Turn a cloud into a word I would do anything for love Yes, I'd travel down to East Nashville To get you the finest boots Reach into a bar now To grab you lots of hoops Yes, I'd pinch Mike Tyson's cheek Be dodging punches for a week I would do anything for love Over thorns and broken wax, Miles Davis it were burning tax. I would do anything for love. I'd hold my breath till I turn blue. Ask old train what he would do. I would do anything for love. And it's up, up, up. In a hot air balloon, we going down, down, down to a local saloon. We're drinking up, up, up all the sweet afternoon. We start out in July, then we finish up in June Empty out my bank account, front row tickets at the Paramount I would do anything for love, what you do for love? Over thorns of broken wax, Miles Davis over burning tax I would do anything for love Yes, I'd travel down to Istanbul just to get a sack of grain Change the weather up over your head 
just to get some rain. Rain, 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 rain. Change the weather up over your head just to get some rain. Rain, 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 rain. Change the weather up over your head just to get some rain. Ah, rain, 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 rain. Well, thanks, everybody. Uh, we just got back from a, a tour, a we meaning me and the rest of my band that dropped me off here in the woods. Um, but uh, has anyone driven out to Colorado lately? All right, good, good. Undoubtedly, if you have driven out to Colorado, you have discovered the great state of Kansas. Ooh. I'm talking in Kansas City where you plug in Denver, Colorado on your GPS and it says next turn 872 miles. Ooh. It was quite an experience. We were, uh, we were driving across and there's this whole section of train where the uh, of uh, road where the train rides along the interstate. And um, of course there's those big long trains out there so we counted we were counting cars like like you do and we got up to over i think car number 75 and we noticed on the back of car num number 75 there was a hobo just hanging out and uh we were the only car on the on the road and he started waving us waving at us he could tell we were a band or something and we waved back and and then we'd stop for gas, the train would pass us, then we'd catch back up to the train, and he'd wave, he'd write a little cardboard sign. And um, about the end of the trip, and we were almost to Colorado, we noticed it wasn't, it wasn't just one hobo, it was two hobos. And it was a girl and a guy. So this song is called The Hobo and His Bride. was a hobo, she was his bride. He courted her near the jungle fire. The long steel rail they chose to ride. Forever on and 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 on. Wedding day, his suit was threadbare. Among spring flowers, she dressed in white with bows in her hair. We danced for hours. Soon came a dying yell from heights they could not gain. The rail was shattering. They jumped from the boxcar of that old steam train. It was, it was going nearly a hundred miles an hour. They say when a hobo dies They ride the tail of Haley's Comet Through the sky He was a hobo She was his bride He courted her Near the jungle fire A long steel rail they chose to ride forever on and 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 on and
of the hobo and his bride. Well, I think I'm going to do a blues. It's time for a blues. I love the sound of the rain. It sound, reminds me of the, the old 78 RPM records. If you kind of close your eyes, you can imagine you're listening to Buck of White or Robert Johnson or something. Woke up this morning Blues was walking like a man Woke up this morning Blues was walking like a man I thought it was a ghost but I I took its right hand Took its right hand Woke up this morning Blues was all around my bed Woke up this morning And the blues was all around my bed I went to eat my breakfast And the blues was in my bread Blues was all in my bread The world is crooked, baby And the world is upside down The world is crooked, baby I believe it's upside down Been this wide world over and it's the same the whole world around Woke up this morning The blues was in my head Woke up this morning The blues was walking around my bed I went to eat my breakfast And the blues was in my bread The blues was in my bread The blues, the blues. Well, thanks, everybody. I just got back from, uh, well, before Colorado, we just got back from um, a week on an island, an undisclosed island off of Massachusetts. And I fell in love with a mermaid. Anybody fall in love with a mermaid? Oh, well, there's still time. This is a finger picking tune. There's blues out in the air I can't stay here no longer Haven't got my steamship fare When my earthly trials are over That's my body out in the sea 
Save all the undertaker's bills, let the mermaids flirt with me. Well, many of the mermaid lived down by the bottom of the sea. Down among the coral, she forgot about her morals. The Lord, she was good to me. When my earthly trials are over, I cast my body out in the sea. Save all the undertaker's bills, and let the mermaids flirt with me. She was certainly good to me. I won't get this guitar. I just had an idea to do a song on that last song. Let's see, where is it? You still hear the record? I hear it. Uh, I had a special request uh, not too long ago when we were playing up in uh, Detroit, and um, it was an interesting request because a lot of people don't know if you're a band, you get to town, you get to the town early, and um, and hanging around the bar. We there was a guy just he, we thought he was a homeless guy, but he requested a tune, and we didn't know it, so we decided we decided we'd learn it on the set break. So we didn't get to play it till about. 3 a.m. in the morning. Strange thing was, down at the bottom of our tip jar was a hundred dollar bill written with the title of this song on it. So we, I've been playing it every night for a hundred nights. Buckets of rain, buckets of tears I got all them buckets coming out of my ears I got a bucket of moonbeams in my hand You got a little love, a little honey that I can't stand I've been meek and hard like an oak Seen pretty people disappear like smoke Friends will arrive, friends will disappear If you want me, little honey, baby, I'll be here Little red wagon, little red bike I ain't no monkey but I know what I like I like the cool way you're looking at me Everything about you is bringing me misery Buckets of rain, buckets of tears I got all them buckets coming out of my ears I got a bucket of moonbeams in my hand You got a little love, a little honey that I can stand Life is sad and life is a bust All you can do is do what you must You do what you must do And you do it well I'll do it for you, said a honey baby Can't you tell So little red wagon, little red bike I ain't no monkey but I know what I like I like the cool way You're looking at me Everything about you is bringing me
Thank you. Woody Pines. Yeah. Woody Pines, everybody. Mighty fine. Well, speaking of wood, would you please? <laughs> You're so clever. What a segue. Keith Bilberry, ladies Thank you. Hey, I, I want to recognize somebody that's here tonight that's very important to me, other than my wife, of course. My high school English and drama teacher is here, Mrs. Linda Rollins. Ms. Rollins, it is so good to have you here. This lady made such a difference in my life, and quite frankly, I'm totally intimidated. You don't scare me, Craig don't scare me, but standing up here in front of Ms. Rollins, the English teacher. I know how that is. So I, you know, sometimes when I perform and some of my teachers are out there, I know it is a little bit yeah. scary because it's like you're back in school. But Keith, I'll tell you though, I did get to meet her before the show. Yeah. I, think, I think she was the student and you were, she looked like your student. Anyway, here's Keith. I don't know how to take that. She taught me how to pronounce Chihuahua and Adjutant. I, I messed up both of those on the radio, and it wasn't a pretty sight. Was it Chihuahua? I'd never seen the word before, okay? You're listening to Hippie Radio, Nashville Bellevue, 94.5 on your FM dial. Now looking for Nashville's coolest new unsigned band or songwriter. Stay tuned to Hippie or check out their website to learn more about the Nashville Handshake. Now, what if you could keep an eye on your finances, whether you're at the butcher, the baker, or the soy latte maker? Ascend Federal Credit Union offers free, convenient account access with eBranch online payment with ePay and online statements with eStatements. Use Ascend's app to access your accounts on your favorite mobile device. Stay on the go with Ascend's e-services and see what's possible. Visit ascendfcu.org to register for e-services from Ascend. Ascend Federal Credit Union, raising possibilities. Ascend's federally insured by the NCUA. Membership is limited. And now, over to the chat room. And Craig, you have two guests. Folks, we're going to have a little twofer here, a little twofer conversation. Please welcome back to the stage Ashley Cottle and Woody Pines. Who, as far as I know, do not know each other, but I think you're both in Nashville, so you've got that in common. Um, Woody, what have you been up to uh, lately? I know you've got a new record, but any other travels? And you're, you're always rambling a lot. You or I associate you with the ramble. Yeah, it seems to be part of the job. Um, mm -hmm. We did just get uh, back from four weeks in the UK, and uh, it was our first time ever going to Germany this time, which yeah. was uh, amazing. I had a blast. How does your uh, vision of uh, folk music, because I know you do, you do covers, you do classic, uh, you know, from you know, Piedmont blues and regional music, and weave that into your own songwriting. If you carry that over to, the, to Europe, for example, what, how, does, how is that respo responded to? Well, uh, it's kind of interesting. Actually, some of the songs that we do are actually um, versions that we learned from Lonnie Donegan, who is a, yeah. one of the Beatles' influence, and he learned everything from Lead Belly. Uh, so it's kind of funny to learn how these songs kind of travel back and forth across the Atlantic Ocean yeah. and um, to see how many times they can go back and forth. That's my job, I exactly. think. Exactly. <laughs> and they're calling it the American Invasion, aren't they? Yeah, they, they are. I think uh, we owe them one. <laughs> you uh, made a recording recently that I think resonates with what's going on in uh, Nashville these days. So give it, give it a little backstory on it's a self-titled album on Muddy Roots Records. Yeah, we were really lucky. Um, just last year, we signed to a, a label, Muddy Roots, underground label. They only have a few bands, and um, we were lucky enough to record at Sputnik Studios, deep in the heart of, of Nashville, where uh, there's a lot of great um, analog equipment and s stuff that captures, I think, acoustic music the best. Yeah, j just as we've seen this uh, renewal of the interest in the turntable and vinyl records, Concurrently, in the recording studio side, a lot of people whose aesthetic is uh, rooted in 40s, 50s, and 60s style recording. Yeah, you absolutely can't beat the sound. It, it sounds full and warm, and um, you just can't beat it. So everyone's going back to it, it seems like. The problem is now, uh, you can't get any records made because everyone's getting records, and 
and you, they have the no more factories. plants are full, folks. So if you want to press a record, get yourself in nine months early. Get in line. Um, and I had one more question about this because, well, you, you, the, the producer on this is sort of a rock and rock guy, kind of indie rock. But you're here, you are. As, as folky as they come, uh, what's the story there? What's the connection? Yeah, I was wondering how it was going to um, mix, you know. And interestingly enough, what I hear in the old bluegrass music is some of the energy that is in rock, you know, that's totally. also in uh, rock and roll and everything. And the, Vance decided to work on us just because he's a good friend with our label owner. So it was kind of just a friend uh, deal. So it's interesting to see how it worked. And those guys were psyched to work with a big upright bass and... Um, because usually you travel with what? You've got a, a trio, the Woody Pines yeah, band? Yeah, you is... travel with an upright bass and a lead guitar player. Right. Whoever I can find, usually. <laughs> but they're always good. Ashley, when did you move to, to Music City? I know you make it your home and you do a lot of different things there, but what drew you? Hmm? What drew you there? Uh, I guess the same thing that draws everybody there. Mm -hmm. There's a ton of really awesome people and tons of music going on, so. Yeah, but I mean, you could, you know, people when the decision comes to pack your bags and go, it's with a sense that I'm going to accomplish this or this or just dive right in. Well, how did you orient yourself? What were your goals? Oh, boy. I uh, put everything that I could fit into my van. and I just, From where, by the way? I was in North Carolina in Asheville, and I packed up all my stuff and my cat and my dog, and I drove to Nashville, and I slept in parking lots in my van a lot. <laughs> yeah, as you said on stage. And, and met a ton of really great people, and um, yeah, Nashville's great. <laughs> and so you're playing bass. Mm -hmm. you're, when you lead your band, that's what's going on, you're playing the bass? Yep. And you obviously play guitar and banjo, mm -hmm. and uh, you, so you're trying to keep your finger in a lot of different uh, aspects of music. Yep, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you mentioned quickly the title of a record that you're making that was so wacky that I have to have you repeat it. What was it called? The record is going to be called Looney Bird. Because you... <laughs> well, you'll just have to hear the record. Okay. <laughs> and it's going to come out probably this fall. And uh, right. yeah, it's got like a, a good mix of songs, makes it a little loony. So. Okay. It wasn't the looniest set I've ever seen. But uh, I trust there's a subtext there. Well, there's a title track, too. There's a song called no. Looney Bird. So okay, great. It sums it all up. Well, thanks for being part of the show tonight. Thanks for sharing what you guys do. And uh, maybe collaboration will uh, come out of this, and you'll say you met on our, in the chat room. I don't know. Uh, Ashley Cottle, Woody Pines. One more time, everybody. Let's get back to the music with Jim Lauderdale. Well, it would be hard to come from farther away than this duo to play here in the mountains tonight for you folks. Their origins are in New Zealand, but they came to Nashville to find the musical collaborators and inspiration that's emerged. And they've come up with moving, melodious sounds steeped in honesty and intimacy. Please welcome the Tattletale Saints. <laughs> Okay. 
decade of stars Sitting on the balcony My golden gal upon my knee I've waited oh so long for thee, Kathleen Thank you guys and girls. Thank you very much. It is a great pleasure to be here. This was actually one of the very first things that I think the both of us did, the, one of the first concerts that we saw in Nashville. We have a good friend who uh, is a frequent attendee and he took us along and it was a, an amazing night, the Music City, New, Music City Roots evening. So very nice to be playing one. All right. Let me just Though we did think we were coming to a quaint small little hall somewhere, and this is a big old hall. Big old hall. <laughs> <laughs> though, though beautiful still. <laughs> All right, so this, this next song is a song called I Don't Sing So Much No More. This is about, I suppose, when you're in a, a relationship and you have a certain song that you associate with the relationship, and uh, it just becomes the song of the time. And uh, I had one such song that I sang all the time when I was with one lass, and it was a uh, Willie Nelson song. And the relationship ended, and I noticed that I just kind of stopped singing the song. It just disappeared from my vocabulary. So I, I wrote a song about losing the ability to sing a song. And it's called, oops, it's called I Don't Sing So Much No More. I don't sing so much no more When I'm standing in the shower When I'm hanging my old t-shirts on the line I don't whistle while I'm working I won't hum to the radio All my old familiar songs The tune is all but gone So I listen to the sound Of my t-shirts in the wind And I hear the wash of traffic going by And I love myself to thinking It's your car pulling in And you're singing from the driveway Up the pathway to our door Then I remember why I don't sing so
won't sing so much no more when I'm standing in the shower, when I'm hanging my own t shirts on the line. I don't whistle while I'm working, I won't hum to the radio all my old familiar songs. The tune is all but gone. So I listen to the sound of my t-shirts in the wind And I hear the wash of traffic going by And I lull myself to thinking It's your car pulling in And you're singing from the driveway Up the pathway to our door then I Thank you very much. All right. So we are from New Zealand originally, and uh, we've lived in Nashville now for about a year. Um, I've actually owned these boots for about seven years, but I couldn't wear them in New Zealand because it's it's not okay to wear cowboy boots there. You get you get um, fr it's frowned upon. But I now live in Tennessee, and so I can wear them as much as I want. <laughs> the home of the boot. Finally, I'm allowed. <laughs> so we're going to play uh, some new songs and a couple of songs off the album we recorded a couple of years ago in Nashville. Um, and this next one is a new one that will be on our next album. It's a song called Down the Road and Back Again. happened 20 times before when I think we've reached the very end we have a fight and words are spoken you're crying on the back doorstep so I get my coat to pack my thing I see so long I'll see you then I curse your name and start the engine but I'm down the road I'm back again Sometimes it's just the smallest thing But the way you talk to me, it hurts Well, it don't matter what you mean It's in that way you speak the words I chew it like a stick of gum I hold my breath and count to ten And tell myself we need a break But I'm down the road, I'm back again Every time it's just the same Why can't we learn from our mistakes? Will this heart have it stay dead? Or must we flog it every day? You and I, we've had some fun But baby, just can't win them all They can't say we didn't try I guess it's time to cut and run We work it out and make some changes Everybody's feeling pretty good Let's have a date night every Thursday Yeah, maybe Tuesdays I can cook It's okay for a couple weeks Then I forget to buy the bread God, it's a full-scale disaster So I'm down the road, I'm back again Why can't we learn from our mistakes? Will 
this horse ever stayed dead? Or must we flog it every day? You and I, we've had some fun But baby, just can't win them all They can't say we didn't try I guess it's time to cut and run We work it out and make some changes Everybody's feeling pretty good I'll take you out to see a movie And say how wonderful you look It's okay for a couple weeks And catch me looking at your friend God, it's a full-scale disaster So I'm down the road, I'm back again Thank you very much. This is a song called If I Had a Dollar. <clears throat> Thank you so much indeed. 
Mm. Well, the next song we're going to play is uh, off our album. We we came to Nashville about a year before we moved there um, to record. We wanted to work with Tim O'Brien, um, who is, I'm sure many of you know. Um, yeah, he's, uh, he's amazing, and he produced our album for us. So we came to Nashville to work with him and uh, made this album called How Red Is The Blood, um, which is in the back corner, should you desire to take a souvenir home with you. Um, and this next song is on that album. It's a song called Complicated Man, and like all of our songs, is written by Cywin Stanley, wonderful guitarist and singer and songwriter over here. Um, and we were really lucky to get this into the finals of the song of the year um, in 2013 in New Zealand. Uh, we, we ultimately lost out to another New Zealander that you probably have heard of. Um, she's about, I think she's maybe just turned 18 and she's won like every award that exists in the world. And this award she won for Royals. So we lost out to Lord. Um, but, you know, it was the year that she oh, won like everything. Like, so we were happy. To, and, and also she's given people another thing to ask us about, which is fun. So it's not just Lord of the Rings and Flight of the Concords. Now it's also, also Lord too. So that's, that's great. Uh, so and we're gonna, sheep, of course. We get a lot of sheep questions. And a lot of sheep. That's all good. <laughs> so we're going to play this song. It's called Complicated Man. A complicated man. You best keep your distance. My mind, it's a patchwork of levers and pistons. My thinking works backward from Z down to A If there's a dollar to turn, I'm gonna find me a way And there's a glass elevator to the top of my tower From which I look down upon the pros and the powerless And I hear you a rhythm in the shuffle of feet I hum my melody over the beat A shirt on their backs, a job and some shelter, and 
Thank you so much. We just have one more song for you guys. Thank you so much for being here and listening, and, and I can see why you have a gate and a guard at the front, because it's so nice in here. You've got to try and keep people out. It's the most be adorable, beautiful buildings, and, and we're really lucky to be here, so thank you. And this next song is a uh, song that Cy wrote, the very first song he wrote upon arriving to live in Tennessee. We thought it was a Tennessee-specific song about a dogwood tree but we have since learned that dogwood trees are, in fact, everywhere, uh, even in New Zealand. <laughs> so uh, the sentiment was that this was a Tennessee song, so you'll just have to pretend that the dogwood tree is a Tennessee song. <laughs> and it's going to feature my lovely bandmate, Miss Vanessa Evelyn McGowan. She's going to bow some double bass <laughs> right in the middle of the song. Stand-up bass, whatever you call it. Sipping in a summertime dream, clicking our heels, bumping our knees, dancing under the dogwoods. Just looking up through the leaves, sweat on your brow, rosy red cheeks, dancing under the dogwoods, dancing under the dogwood trees, pink moonlight, lazy breeze. You never forget a night like this, dancing under the dogwoods, just dancing under the dogwood trees.
Thank you, guys. Take it easy. Tattletale Saints. Let's hear it for them. The Tattletale Saints, everybody. Wonderful. Wow. Folks, I'll tell you, I want to remind everybody that we've, uh, all the artists here tonight, including yours truly, has their CDs, DVDs, documentaries, anything you'd want right over there. Uh, Miss Rollins, how's Keith doing? Yay! Yes, all right. all right. Well, here he is with some more. She's on my side, absolutely. Hey, we've got some folks celebrating a very special anniversary. Mr. and Mrs. Porter Maxwell, 45th wedding anniversary today. Where are you? All right. That's great. So uh, how many times have you been married? Oh, this is, uh, I got you, 45, one marriage, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, folks, whether you're in Tennessee or across the USA, French's Shoes and Boots is your headquarters for the best deals on Justin Boots and more. French's can outfit you from your head to the heel of your Justin Boots at the best prices anywhere. Step out in style with our great selection of jeans, shirts, and hats. Let us custom fit you with that pair of classic Justin Boots that you always wanted. Now, with 14 locations all across the great state of Tennessee, including just a few blocks uh, down in Franklin and on the square, as well as Murfreesboro, beautiful store downtown in Nashville on 2nd Avenue, and as far east as Pigeon Forge, it just makes good sense to shop at French's, your Justin Boots headquarters. Now, for the rest of you listening in from New York to California, click on Music City Boots, that's musiccityboots.com, and click on the Justin Boot logo. Now it's time to go back to Craig. He's over in the chat room, sponsored by Griffin Technology, making it easier to connect to the music you love. How about it, Craig? Oh, man, I enjoyed that set so much. That is wonderful music. Cy Win Stanley, Vanessa McGowan, the Title Tale Saints. One more time. Thank you, guys. You have come a long way to make music in this part of the world. And I got to ask how you guys found each other musically or personally and or both. And then what motivated uh, the move? We'll get to the Tim O'Brien thing in a minute. But how did this get started as a duo? Well, we, uh, we used to play together in a, in a big band. We, we kind of, both of us grew up playing a bunch of jazz, and uh, we grew up in this, in this big band. And we met you know, playing geeky old uh, 1940s swing. And we just loved playing together, and uh, over the years, we kind of fell out of touch and fell back in touch, and, and, uh, and now here we are. We were living in uh, the UK for a long time, and then moved back to New Zealand. We've got to stop moving around so much. We, we, we think that this move to the States is going to be the, the one that sticks. Okay, good. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. Vanessa, how'd you get going on the upright bass? Uh, well, I started playing piano and oboe um, as a kid, and then I started playing drums in music class at school. Um, and then I honestly started playing bass because the girl who was playing bass like knew the drum beat to a song and so she was like I want to play drums for that song so I just kind of got put to on bass um, but then it was great and I really enjoyed it so I started playing electric bass when I was about 14 right and then upright bass when I was a little taller when I was about 17 um, yeah but then you all both had to find your way into the, com the the world of jazz and chord charts and changes and the real deal are y'all either of y'all uh, trained in an academy sort of way, or all? Yeah, nice. I have a I have a couple of bits of paper that yeah, say okay. that I'm allowed to play bass. Okay. Um, <laughs> and and yes, yeah, Sai has got half a bit of paper. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we both played a lot of jazz when we were growing up, um, right. and then both kind of went off and did other things and, and learned other kinds of music, and, and I guess what we do now as a band is kind of influenced by a lot of those different okay. things. But. but clearly folk music is at the core, even though there's nice modern sheen on this stuff. Where does the folk music love come from, and what are you tapping into? Um, well, I actually, I used to have a gig in New Zealand playing, playing in an Irish, Irish bar, and we played a bunch of Irish tunes. There's a, a large... Irish community in New Zealand, and uh, as there is everywhere, I think. 
And uh, one day, some actually American dude came in and he gave me a couple of CDs, an old and in the way CD, and uh, some Tony Rice Manzanita, I think. And uh, and and that kind of got me started on the bluegrass thing, and it, it just bloomed from from there really. And as a songwriter, the the country the telling of a story and the kind of old time tradition as well really appeals to me. Um, I suppose as does the jazz tradition, yeah. but, but yeah, it's just something that's really stuck and I, I love playing country guitar and, yeah. and, uh, and we've, I kind of roped Vanessa into the country thing a little. Not that we play country country, but you know, it's, uh, it's great. Ah. Uh, now the Tim O'Brien connection, we're all, you know, if you get down that rabbit hole, mm -hmm. Tim's gonna pop up and become a favorite, one of the greats. How did you approach him? How did that happen? What's the story? We, we basically um, wrote ourselves a, a top list of people we'd like to work with, and he was at the top of the list. Um, and at this point, I don't think I really had much hope that it would actually come to fruition. I just thought, well, he's a famous guy in the States. Like, that's not going to happen. And uh, we ended up making him a video and sending him a little message saying, like, hey, Tim, we're a, we're a band in New Zealand, and we have some songs, and we'd like to work with you and we, we sent him a video showreel um, and we have a friend who actually plays with him so he kind of acted as an intermediary to get the video to him and it took a couple of months to, to hear from him because he's a busy guy and he's on the road a lot but then we Skyped with him and he had himself a, a glass of whiskey on the Skype date yeah he was just about to head to the Ryman to play a show oh, nice. um, and we Skyped and he said yeah like I'd love to work with you I like your songs um, do you want to come to Nashville to record and we mm -hmm. thought about it for about two and a half seconds yeah. and said yes yeah. <laughs> we would like to go to Nashville and made the record How Red Is The Blood which I gather came out in Australia first and then is now available here it came out in Australia but it also came out in New Zealand because that's oh. where we're from right <laughs> Um, but it came out in New Zealand a little before because we were touring and then we released it in the States a little later once we could come to tour it, you know. Oh, right. Um, yeah. Well, well, welcome to town, as it were. Thank and, you. And uh, can't wait to hear you guys again and this is just terrific to know you. Thank so. you so much. The Tattletale Saints, everybody, from New Zealand. <laughs> I knew that. They're not the same country. Jim. All right. Well, by the time you really take in the scope of this artist's talent, his emotional voice, his songs, and his overall sense of humor, the quirky fact that he's a songwriting cellist fades into the background. He's a wonder-inducing blend of refinement and country soul. Please join me in welcoming Ben Soli. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, folks. Y'all have made me feel very welcome on this rainy night. Take it, take it easy on me. I ain't willing to lose, but I'm willing to admit I was wrong. Cause the Yeah, yeah. 
the picture in your mind of what you used to be and the hunger of ambition is a wish that you won't feed and the hum of the highway is a distant sense of speed you got your hammer and your chisel it feels like old technology but there's only so much time in the day There's only so much that I can say Oh, learn to listen Learn to listen Fold yourself back in the hills Find your church out in the meadow Ooh, And remember to be still And just listen to the quiet That wild rippling sound And you find that you're here Yes, and you find that you're now Cause there's only so much time in the day There's only so much that I can say Learn to listen Learn to listen Yeah, yes Oh, learn to listen Yeah. 
So much. That's Jordan Ellis on percussion. Jordan and I have been playing together for years and years now, and he's uh, he's always been a multi-faceted drummer, but he's been able to strip things down to this motley collection of things. Um, after a lot of learning, after we'd done music tours by bicycle all over the country. It's true, we, put, we call them ditch the van tours and we put all of our gear on bicycles and we ride from town to town. Now, we haven't ridden into your town yet and there's a couple reasons. First, we're just meeting you all. But secondly, there's a lot of hills. <laughs> and, um, but we'll, we'll get here eventually by bike. That's the hope. Because I see that it's a really good biking community. Everybody's out on bikes. There was even signs that said, get out of your car. <laughs> Park the car. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I got to walk some of your bridges. They're very long. They're very quiet. And there are trolls. <laughs> I think my son Oliver would like it a lot here. He, um, he in part inspired this next song, which is on the new EP, Steeples, part one. And I was watching him on the playground and it was one of those playgrounds where you've got the towers and the slides, like most playgrounds these days. And I was watching the kids defend the high ground and kick all the other kids off onto the low ground. I was like, wow, that starts early in society. And, and just kind of watching the way they formed tribes and the way they learned to be leaders and um, kind of came up with this chapterized uh, vignette of how life can go sometimes. It's called Forgotten. In a schoolyard nation in a playground town A young jury sends a villain down the slide He is a child in exile Weeping in the wood chips A castaway turned leader of a growing tribe Secret handshakes, new declarations Scraps from our class fold in a flag It's a conflict out of context It's a coffee-stained playbook It's a sense of yearning and a lesson in desire There's a fence in the desert somewhere There's lines in the sea that are not to be crossed There's a woman living as a man There's medicine in the weeds And there's water on the moon There's a private rocket ship hidden there soon And a symphony in the streets There's a gallon bucket band in Carnegie Hall Listen, phone call plays slowly in my mind A clerk at a window caught you in a lie Yeah, I remember the crackling feeling in my heart Security cameras shook me apart I had a lot to learn about where I was from I had a lot to learn about forgiveness I had a lot on my mind Half of what I've done, maybe more of who I am, will be forgotten 
won't be remembered Like all the stories never told The digital lives scattered in code All of the footsteps that will never be traced The forgotten ways of an ancient race Thanks so much. I picked up the cello when I was nine years old in Kentucky in the public schools. It was one of those things where the teacher came around with like a petting zoo of instruments. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, she, she was a violinist by training, and so she showed us the violin, which was nice, and then the viola which was also nice. Uh, but then she picked up the cello and she said, class, this is a cello, and you can learn to play it in fourth grade orchestra, and this is what a cello sounds like. The very first sound I ever heard out of a cello. You ready? Yes? Okay. <laughs> just come back to third grade with me for just one sec. <laughs> and remember what that sound would be like. I was immediately interested. <laughs> and I said, really, you can make that sound? And she said, no, please, the cello does, should not make that sound. Um, this is what a cello sounds like. Second sound I ever heard out of the instrument in person. <laughs> so I went home to my parents and I said, there's this instrument called the cello and it makes all these crazy noises, can I play it? And my parents said, sure. And so I, took off on this trajectory and eventually started making a career out of playing the cello and singing songs and out of Kentucky, no less. And you have to understand that there's not really a clear path through the woods of the music industry for a singing cellist. <laughs> you know, there's not like a shining beacon in the distance <laughs> that music industry can look at and be like, we need to sign up the next hit singing cellist. <laughs> but there are some benefits. You get to kind of carve your own niche out and hack your way through the creative woods that are out there and, and learn yourself. And you develop a sound. And say a director out in Hollywood is looking for that sound, you get the call. And I did. It was this movie called The Killing Season. Very ominous sounding movie. It featured an older Appalachian Robert De Niro and a, <laughs> and a Bosnian John Travolta. And they were hunting each other in the woods of Appalachia, not too far from here. And, um, and so I did some spooky cello fiddly music for the, for the movie that sounded like this. <laughs> Stuff like that. And they were like, wow, you're, you're good at that. And I'm like, thanks, I've been doing it for a while. Uh, can you write a movie? Can you write a song for our movie? And I said, sure. And this is what I came up with. It's called Letting Go. It's a long, hard road through a rough edge land to the softest part of a man. And it's lined with stones and tangled in regrets that are just too hard to forget. Overlooked on the way to the heart of a troubled man And you can lose yourself in the deep muddy roads Worn through 
by the pride of a man who won through by the pride of a man but letting go letting go letting go There's a wild-eyed mare tied to the weight of a man And she once ran free with the wind in her hair Breathing hard for the love of a man Ooh, breathing hard for the love of a man She won't let him be he won't let her rest till he learns, Lord, how to forgive and let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Changing of the years, and as it settles down to the cooling ground, let it go. Thank you. Thank you so much. So growing up in Kentucky, uh, my mom's family came from the east side of the state, and there's a lot of small towns there that used to center themselves around the tallest object in town, which used to be the church steeple. Now that's changed. Buildings have gotten taller. Signs have been built. Um, and much of the towns have even gone the way of bigger and closer to the highway. And so uh, in thinking of that, this song came up. And thinking about how much when you drive through the mountains on all the cell phone towers, how much those look like steeples and how much we gather around them in various ways. So this song came to mind. And it's a new one. I haven't really played this live yet. So it's called Steeples. It's just for you here now. <laughs> Unplugged TV Full of daytime dramas And unwritten sequels on empty screens But I take the back roads when there's time To see the old churches in their withered spots The faithful left here a long time ago But the congregation's just down the road Gather round your steeples, gather round I buy the bypass where they plant the signs Two golden wishbones and cheap pickup lines 
Open all day, open all year. Bring your pocket change and spend it here. A sidewalk prayer to a glowing screen. Satellites and stations up where heaven used to be. A broken skyline above the trees. Cell phone towers as far as the eye can see. Gather round your steeples, gather round. Take me home and lay me down. Goodness, darling, take off that crowd. I want to see you, that you were made. I want to free you from that cage. Some people walk a thousand miles to find something holy or divine. But I got what I need. It's all right here. Find my steeples, jump and cheer, yeah. Thank you so much. That one was fast. Woo. All right, I only have time for one more song, which is a, a treat and, and sad all at the same time because you all have been such a sweet audience. And I just need to thank so much. My glasses are fogging up. I just need to thank so much the community of Music, uh, music City Roots for supporting me as the old singing cellist for all these years. Much like the assembly here, I feel like they're building not just uh, awareness or a brand, I feel like they're building a big family and I'm really happy to be a part of it. And uh, I'd like to, thank you. And um, one of the, I think it's Debbie, is that Debbie, Debbie? I think Debbie asked me earlier here uh, if I would play this song because it reminded her so much of the community that you all have here. It's a song called Slow Down. I wrote it about my son, my son, Oliver. He's seven and a half. The half is very important. And um, as you know, bicycles are very important to me, and I was teaching him how to ride his bike, and he was on one of those balance bicycles. You know what I'm talking about? They just kind of kick along and balance before they learn to pedal. And I remember the day he learned to balance. He was he'd been doing it, kind of struggling for a while, and he was in the sidewalk. He was on the sidewalk ahead of me. And he'd been kind of flopping around, and then all of a sudden he just kind of picked up his legs and started gliding. And things got real slow for a sec. And I realized that this person that I had a role in making um, was now moving faster and further away from me on his own energy than he ever had been before. And that was going to kind of be the trajectory for a while. He was going to want to speed up his world as much as possible. And here I was riding my bicycles to slow me down from the crazy pace of touring. And in a cool way, we were, we were meeting in the middle, but we were also passing each other. And so as I saw, as we pulled in today and I saw all the kids out on their bicycles and all the folks out walking, I was reminded of this song. And I'd like to send it out to y'all here. Thanks for having me. It's called Slow Down.
Cause there's no denying someday it come true Just slow down This world won't slow down for me and for you It won't go fast enough Slow down This world won't slow down for me and for you It won't go fast enough I had my eye on the ball I thought I knew how the game was played But you grew so tall And found out you had your own mind you could make Slow down, this world won't slow down for me and for you. It won't go fast enough. Slow down, this world won't slow down for me and for you. It won't go fast enough, fast enough. Thank you so much. Jordan Ellis playing percussion for you. My name is Ben Soli. Really appreciate it, y'all. Let's hear it for Ben Soli. Yeah. It's fantastic, Ben. Ben Soli, everybody. Yeah. Who's supposed to talk now? Me? I'm sorry. I, 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 I don't know who is supposed to talk, but I guess it's me, isn't it? Uh, yeah. You've got some experience yeah. with that. Give it a try. Well, <laughs> folks, <laughs> if you enjoy our show, you have to know it's made possible by our sponsors. And right now, we'd like to talk about the amazing Star 129 Diamond. It's hard to describe the difference between a Star 129 Diamond and an ordinary diamond over the radio. It's one of those things you just need to see. It's graded using patented technology, which we believe is the most significant advancement in diamond cutting technology in nearly 100 years. Now, there's only one place to go in Nashville to see it in person, and that's Foster's, or Forster's Diamond Outlet on Hickory Hollow Parkway in Nashville. Now, here's the good news. While you're there, if you happen to get a case of Diamond Envy, you can ask about their trade-in program. And in some cases, your old diamond can even be recut by master craftsmen and transformed into a star 129, graded to outsparkle normal diamonds to the naked eye, which is really what counts. Take a look at the display here in the hall. Visit Diamond Outlet on Hickory Hollow Parkway in Nashville, and the rest of you around the country can find a dealer near you at star 129. Dot com. Craig, what's going on in the chat room? Well, folks, uh, it's been a wonderful evening. Uh, as you can see, everybody's coming back to the stage. I'm not sure if you all know how we wrap up our shows, but we bring all our musicians back together again. Sometime between the beginning and the end of the show, Jim and everybody consults back there and picks a song out of the great American catalog, and they agree to figure out how to do it 
one time only, no rehearsals, it usually works pretty well. It's called the Nashville Jam, and we're going to hear it from a, in a second. And as, we, as they get ready, let me say and let us all say thanks again to the Blackstone Brewery lineup on Music City Roots tonight. Ben Salee, Ashley Caudle, the Tattletale Saints, and Woody Pines, a yeah! pretty fine sampling yeah! of great American music. Truly a moving night. I will not forget the air coming through here, the fireflies outside, this beautiful space. We really appreciate the opportunity to be here and, and be part of your summer. Uh, we'd love to have you come down to uh, Franklin, Tennessee any Wednesday night. We have 44 shows a year, four seasons. We're in a seasonal break right now, but on July the 7th, we return for a special Tuesday night edition, and that's because we are playing host to the kickoff event for an incredible annual convention that honors the great Chet Atkins. It is a gathering of guitar players from all over the world. And so we're gonna have a, a guitar uh, special featuring John Knowles, Pat Bergeson, Annie Selleck and the Hot Club, who are here tonight, we're happy to say, in the, in the audience. Jonathan Brown, Parker Hastings, Richard Smith, Endless Road Strings, and the great Tom Bresch. Probably some surprise guests as well. Really going to be an amazing night of fingerstyle guitar. And come and see that on the 7th at the factory in Franklin. Then the following night, July 8th, Wednesday night, as usual, we kick off our summer season with Matthew Fowler, The Broomsticks, Caroline Spence, and remarkable country star, one of my favorite singers, Pam Tillis, will be on our stage. And we go out over the air, we, go, we have the cameras every week we do this. It's a live webcast at musiccityroots.com. Tune in, hit the watch live now button at 7 p.m. Central, and we'll have a show for you. It's free, there's a wonderful chat room on the side that you can join in the community and uh, kibitz with people who are watching the show from all over the world. And uh, it's, it is a community, it is a family, and uh, thank you, Ben, for the very kind words. We really appreciate that. Um, and so come and join us uh, in person if you can, and if not, check us out on the web. Hey, Keith Bilbrey, have you had a nice yeah, night? Yeah, I, I was looking for, for the jam. Let's see, it's not, no, that's not it. Could you hold that for me? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, here it is, yeah. We have uh, some for sale uh, back there, so uh, y'all, oh this we is a special we stuff. We are crazy about this Nashville jam. Gary and Courtney Barron started making their gourmet jams and jellies as gifts for family and friends from the abundance of their own garden. And now, even though it's in stores from New York to Texas, it's still made with that same loving care. Handmade, all natural, gourmet jams and jellies from natural fruit flavors like strawberry and blueberry to wild tastes like peach habanero. I have in my hand the sweet onion and garlic jam. This stuff delivers a punch. Mm -hmm. It will ward off colds, it will keep away vampires, <laughs> whatever. Insist on it at your local grocer, or you can pick up a jar here tonight. Please stand up and welcome Jim Lauderdale and the Nashville Jam. Yes. Check. Check. Oh, hey. Thank you, Keith. And uh, you know what? I'm already thinking about next year being here. Would you all come back Could, if they'll have us next year? I'd be fun. It sure be fun. This has been great tonight. Keith, by the way, just a little bit of trivia about this, uh, this actual auditorium. This was the inspiration. Howard Hughes was driving through uh, here. Well, I can't remember the exact year, but uh, he got the idea to build his plane, the Spruce Goose, and the hangar for it from this place. He spent about uh, according to legend, he spent three and a half days here on the grounds. He came here and he meticulously went over every inch of the building. Well, and, uh, I have some news for you. You just made that up. I've, Howard Hughes I've has never news. been to Miami. Hey, you know what? I've got news for you. <laughs> <laughs> you got lost on the way up here. Well, folks. If you know the chorus of this song, uh, please sing along with us. It's an old Bill Monroe song. And we thought it'd be, we thought it'd fit good tonight. Here. If I was a gambler, I'd tell you what I'd do. I'd quit 
that's my gambling lord and i work on a building too i'm working on a building i'm working on a building i'm working on a building for my lord for my lord it's a holy ghost building it's a holy ghost building it's a holy ghost building for my lord for my lord Keep on the preaching and working on the building too. Working on the building, I'm working on the building. Working on the building for my Lord, for my Lord. It's a Holy Ghost building, it's a Holy Ghost building. It's a Holy Ghost building for my Lord, for my Lord. Building, I'm working on a building. I'm working on a building for my Lord, for my Lord. It's a Holy Ghost building. It's a Holy Ghost building. It's a Holy Ghost building for my Lord, for my Lord. And I'd stay right here with you. I'm working on a building. I'm working on a building. I'm working on a building for my Lord, for my Lord. It's a Holy Ghost building. It's a Holy Ghost building. It's a Holy Ghost building for my Lord, for my Lord. Thank y'all so much. You guys have been a great audience. We, we love you. Thank you. Oh, a great time here on Mount Eagle Mountain. Music City Roots is a production of Hang Dye Media. Executive producers John Walker and Todd Mayo would like to thank Becky Nelson, Scott Parrish, and all the folks at the Edgeworth Inn. Thank you, everyone here in Mount Eagle Assembly, for being such gracious hosts. 
And of course, a big thanks to all our friends at Hippie Radio. Don't forget, weekdays at 7 o'clock, except for Wednesdays, of course. We'll explore the roots of Americana and rock and fun for hippies of all ages. Hippie Radio 94.5 on your FM dial. We're glad you joined us this week for Music City Roots, live from Mon Eagle Mountain. I'm Keith Bilbrey. And from beyond the edge of Music City, atop majestic Mon Eagle Mountain, good night, everybody. Hang on.